Hi Fire Signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising, and those of you cross watching. And welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see who's coming back into your life. And we'll take a look and see what the cards are predicting regarding this person's return. It is going to be a general reading, guys, and there's also going to be a part two to this reading. And in part two, we're just going to continue on with the messages, perhaps even go uh, into a little bit more detail. And to access the part two extended reading, please visit the Vimeo extension link below, which will be uh, provided just underneath the video. And I also want to remind you guys that I do offer personalized tarot readings, as this is going to be a general read. So if you are after personal reading, please feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is also going to be listed in that section below there. Okay, let's go ahead and begin. Okay, um, wow, you've got some really nice cards here. Okay, so let's take a look what's going on here. There's still quite a strong romantic energy that is present here in the reading and in the energy. So it feels like, it feels like this is someone who has hurt you, okay? We have the Seven of Swords here as, as well as the Magician. There's this underlying notion of there having been the deception, okay? Um, it, you know, this is someone. This is someone who has really hurt you and really hurt the relationship and the potential of what this relationship could have been. I mean, you guys have had a very strong foundational structure, but even that, even so, that structure itself. Oh, you can't see. Even so, that structure itself, you know, became shaken here by um, this person's actions, by their words, by their intentions here. So this is someone who lied to you. This is someone whom, you know, this is someone whom you've placed so much trust in this individual and they've broken that trust. They've lied to you. They've manipulated your emotions. They've manip manipulated the situation. Um, and it feels like this is someone who unfortunately not only did they hurt you and your feelings, but they also hurt the relationship and the future of this relationship, the future of this connection could, uh, what the fu what the future of this connection could hold. They've hurt themselves in the process, of course, because in sabotaging this connection with you, in potentially, you know, um, uh, in ruining this connection, they've also deprived themselves of this wonderful love and this wonderful relationship and connection and union and partnership that the both of you had and even friendship here it feels like this is someone it feels like this is someone who has you know this person may have put you in a third party situation okay um this is someone who might have who may have been unfaithful to you throughout the duration of your connection with this person throughout the duration of your relationship maybe this person maybe you were aware that this person was you know in a marital relationship or they were committed or attached to someone else um, and they nevertheless you know you guys you've met and you've really hit it off and they kept promising you maybe they were saying things like you know they were getting a divorce or they kept promising you that they were going to leave their person for you okay but each and every time, it was a lie, okay? Um, it was a de deliberate lie to get you to stick around, to get you to, you know, um, to get you to stay. So it does feel like they've put you in a third-party situation. It does feel like this is someone who's treated you like a, like an 
like you were just you know one of their options and not the priority it feels like this person had they may have been seeing multiple partners um, they may have been active on dating sites they may have been disloyal here and they may have you know they may have had an affair with someone else but it could also have been an emotional affair as well and that's cheating you know emotional cheating this is someone who um, maybe you know during your relationship with this person they would often become very flirtatious with uh, other potential romantic energies here so this person is of course they've been thinking about coming back to you of course they've been thinking about wanting to reconnect with you uh, more importantly they you know what they want is to go back to what you had before they've went ahead and screwed things up before they went ahead and lied cheated broke your heart here they want to go back to that you know healthy connection that you had but even so because of the energies of the card it makes me question just how healthy your relationship was to begin with if they went ahead and did this okay so clearly they had they had it within them to you know to hurt you and to 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 betray you to break your trust to you know put you in a third party situation you know the fact that they've cheated on you that wasn't an accident the fact that they've broke your heart that was intentional it was deliberate so it's important that i don't know for some of you it feels like you've kept making excuses for this individual okay and it feels like this is the very you know person that wants to come back um, I don't know, I don't, it's not to say that they haven't changed, I do think they've been through some things, and I do think that, you know, this situation put the both of you in a very uncomfortable space, I just don't know, it feels like it's this person, it feels like the deception is still in their energy, in a sense that, and that's not to say that, you know, they're still out there being dishonest and disloyal, and, you know, they're, they're a non-committal type of energy, and maybe that they still are, okay? Maybe that's something that they're working on. But the deceit could also be in a sense that this person is not being honest with themselves because they think they're just going to waltz, you know, weasel or waltz their way back into your life and the both of you are just going to... The both of you are just going to naturally take to one another and, you know, everything is just going to be... Everything is just going to be okay. Everything is just going to be peaches and cream. This person thinks that it's this... They're under an illusion, Okay, they're under the illusion that they just could come back and, you know, pick things up where they left off and, you know, um, that they could just easily put to the side the very challenges, the very, uh, all the turbulencies, all the difficulties, you know, all the issues the relationship faced. This person just thinks that, you know, they could cast it to the side and forget about it. It's like, or they want to you know they want to avoid dealing with it they want to pretend that it never really happened and it's not so much that they want to pretend but there is there is this um there is this energy of illusion okay both the magician the seven of um you know the seven of swords is deception the seven of cups is it, it is illusion it's wishful thinking here and it feels like it's a wish you know it's a type of thinking that is not serving them positively it's also not very realistic because this person you know wants to come back into your life but it's not like you've had i mean you could have had that fairy tale but it's not like you've had that fairy tale and you know happiness is a balance of ups and downs and there were obviously the way that they've acted there were certain issues that already were existing in the relationship or there were certain issues that were already existing in their energy but instead of dealing with you know what really was the issue like for example they could have acted out of jealousy out of retail retaliation out of anger out of hurt out of spite out of insecurity okay all behavior is motivated and the motivation behind their deceitful and dishonest uh behavior could have been something that's very personal to them and to their energy but instead of dealing with that they went ahead and you know not only hurt themselves and hurt you but also hurt the relationship here so yes they want to come back into the picture but have they dealt with the issue at hand have they dealt with you know what's really going on with them emotionally internally here because it feels like this person kind of wants to 
they, they don't want to confront. They're avoiding what really is, if it's not the cause of it, it's definitely what's, you know, something that's contributed. It's a factor that's contributed to all of this. This person loves you, okay? There's, and I think you still love them emotionally. There's, uh, you guys are connected emotionally. You guys are connected energetically. Um, it feels like this person, this individual, he has never really let go of you, okay? And it feels like they've never really go let go of the fact that they've did what they've did to ruin, um, you know, to hinder, to sabotage this connection. Um, it feels like they were emotionally juvenile, they were emotionally immature, but it also feels like, I don't know, maybe the both of you were kind of, because of the energy, see, the combination of the cards and the energies, it feels like the both of you were kind of romanticizing each other and you were kind of romanticizing what you had and maybe you guys just put too much pressure on the connection. So it does feel like this person is just going to, to be honest with you, it feels like they're just kind of going to come back into your life very unexpectedly. Okay, um, especially with the, you know, with the appearance of the magician here. This is someone who may, who probably left your life very quickly, very abruptly. And it feels like they're, co they're coming back in that same energy. Just all of a sudden, you know, this person is, just, you're going to hear from them. You're going to maybe even see them or bump into them. Um, some of you, I see, I see that you are going to see this person again face to face. The energies do feel like a little bit scattered though. The energies feel like they're still a little bit all over the place. You still have feelings for this person, but you still can't move on from the hurt that they've caused you. You still love each other, but you're still too hurt to maybe admit that to yourselves. Um, you know, the magician here, there's such a strong energy of manipulation, of deception, of illusion. And I think that in order for you to, you know, even consider starting fresh, with this person, it's important to let go of the illusions that you had. Because some of you are still holding on to the illusion of what could have been. And, you know, those were just fantasies that you've built up in the air. Okay, um, there was there's still, you know, you guys maybe spoke about certain dreams and um, illusions and uh, certain dreams and fantasies and visions that you had for each other and for the future. And someone is still holding on to those. And by doing that, it's hurting them and it's hurting the relationship or the possibility of a reconciliation. Um, in part two of the reading, we're going to explore these details, these messages in a little bit more detail. I mean, there is, I feel like there's a lot of potential for this connection. There is so much potential for reconciliation. There's so much potential. I mean, this person made a mistake. But I do feel like they're learning from it. They're still learning from it. Um, and I do think that, you know, they want to come back here. But it's very important. I feel like we should take a closer look and see whether this person is, you know, has done, have they done some work on themselves? Have they done that inner work? Have they done the forgiving, the healing, right? Have they been doing some shadow work? And, you know, are they coming back? What are their intentions? Are they honest? Are they pure? Are they transparent? So follow me to part two of the reading. I just want to thank you guys for watching and listening. Please show your support if you haven't already by liking, sharing and subscribing to the channel. Bye for now.